when you have deep ethnic divisions, you have mutual distrust. And when you have distrust, uh, you have difficulty forming meaningful, enduring relationships. It even affects businesses. If you think because someone belongs to a certain ethnic group that they fit in certain stereotypes and are going to manifest certain negative attributes that are assigned to that ethnic group, then you're going to be reluctant to do business with them. And when that happens, it affects everything. Uh, so I, I agree with them perfectly, except that I'm a little more hopeful about what is happening than many people would tend to be. And of course, it's because of my comparative advantages. I, I, I see that this happens all the time. My mom was born in Benin Republic, and that country is seen as one where people tend to get along a little better than we do in Nigeria, but they also have ethnic tensions after every election. And in the United States here, Deji was talking about using religion and ethnicity to campaign. I see here churches asking people to, to vote Trump or to vote uh, the Republican Party. And this same conversation is taking place here. People are saying churches should be denuded of the uh, their tax exempt status since they're getting into politics. So that happens a lot here. They call Democrats Democrats. And you see that happen all the time here within my uh, my neighbors. So religion has always been very central to the political process. It's not ideal. It's not, I'm not encouraging it, but it happens. There's no society on earth where people have not weaponized and um, instrumentalized religion and ethnicity and other primordial features to achieve political ends. So we are not alone. I think that knowledge that we are not alone should give us a little calm and a little more reason for hope. And as I've written repeatedly in my columns, Nigeria is moving in the direction of evolving as a nation. Uh, Keta just said he's married to uh, a Yoruba person. I am married to an Igbo woman. Wow. And my children, uh, my first wife who died is from Deji's place. She's, uh, mm. She identified as Yoruba because she was born in uh, Ilorin and went to school in Ibadan. So some of my children that I had with her are half Yoruba and half from my place. When I remarried in 2014, I married someone from uh, Okija. And the Okija people are my in-laws now. Yeah, you're, a true, a, you're, a true, you're a true Nigerian prof. <laughs> yes, so I really don't see... By the, virtue, see, by the virtue of marriage. <laughs> yeah, by virtue of marriage. Yourself and Cheta. I'm bringing, these, I'm bringing these examples not to... I, I, I personally don't like people advancing their personal stories uh, to make claims about their identity, to make claims about their... Uh, ideological direction, but I'm giving this example to show that increasingly that is happening, not because anyone is forcing anyone to do it, but because they think it's ideal. The more we stay together as a nation, the more we realize that we are more alike than unlike. Mm. And then, so we are giving back to children who have emotional investment in, in multiple identities. And in fact, right now, the next generation, like my children's generation are more Nigerian than any generation of Nigeria has ever been. Because that's all that they they know. They don't have investment in ethnicities like we do. I'm not saying that they're not going to have their own contradictions as they grow up. Because as I've consistently said, one of the most homogenous societies you can find on earth is Somalia. Everyone is a Muslim, not just a Muslim, a Sunni Muslim. And they are all they all speak the Somali language. In fact, there's a study that shows that they are all descended from the same ancestors. Their language, they don't even have dialects. Hmm. The Somali language that they speak doesn't even have dialects. In Yoruba, you have Ijebu, you have Ijesha, you have uh, Egba. Yeah, yeah. They don't even have dialects. Mm -hmm. You know, they are very unique in that sense. Yet, they've not had a central government since, since the 1990s, early 1990s. Right. Why? Yeah. They are divided on the basis of clans. Mm. So ethnicity is gone, religion is gone, but they have created <laughs> plans. All right.